Iran News Now Preparedness for early presidential elections in Iran has begun. Iranian Interior Minister Ahmad Vahidi has formally announced that early elections are underway. Following President Ebrahim Raisi's death in a helicopter crash last week, the Interior Minister announced on Sunday that preparations would begin for a countrywide election. Within three days, he gave the order to the provincial general governors and city governors to establish provincial election headquarters and executive committees in their respective cities. On the same day, the country's elections headquarters released a statement stating that candidates have until Monday, June 3, to register, beginning on Thursday, May 30. In the event of the president's demise, the Iranian people are required by Article 131 of the Iranian Constitution to organize immediate and unconditional elections within 50 days. Pakistan's top military official, Lt. Gen. Syed Asim Munir, has expressed his deepest sympathies to the Iranian people on the loss of President Ebrahim Raisi. Munir further emphasized that the two countries' militaries will remain steadfast allies. General Munir called Major General Mohammad Bagheri, Chief of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, on Sunday to offer condolences over the recent tragic martyrdom of President Raisi and his foreign minister, Hossein Amar Abdelayan, who were among several officials killed in a helicopter crash last week. The Public Relations Office of the Pakistani Army released a statement in which General Munir praised the late President Raisi and his senior diplomat, Amar Abdelayan, as being genuine allies of Pakistan and outstanding leaders. Pakistan and Iran have deep-rooted cultural, historical, and fraternal ties, and it is our shared belief that the armed forces of our two countries will forever support one another, he declared. General Bagheri reaffirmed his support for further strengthening Iran-Pakistan military cooperation, according to the statement. Pakistani Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif paid a condolence visit to Iran on Wednesday, and the phone call followed. In light of the death of Iran's president, he had proclaimed Tuesday a national day of mourning in Pakistan. Iranian Sunni lawmaker Masood Pazeshkian launched his candidacy for president on Sunday, according to Shafak News. The country is gearing up to conduct a quick election following the tragic death of President Ebrahim Raisi. Prominent Iranian politician Pazeshkian, who has served as health minister and first deputy speaker of parliament, has stated his intention to boost voter turnout in an effort to allay public fears about the upcoming elections. The decision by Pazeshkian comes as Iran readies itself for an early presidential election set for June 28, in the aftermath of the unexpected death of President Raisi last week in a helicopter crash in the country's northwest. Voter participation in Iran's most recent parliamentary elections was at a record low, indicating a general loss of interest in the electoral process. Even in the most recent runoffs, just 7% of eligible voters cast ballots in Tehran. Record lows for presidential elections occurred in the 2021 elections that saw Raisi win the office. Since the Guardian Council is likely to exclude any substantial non-hardline candidates, many predict that the next election will be anything from dull. In the meantime, Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei has offered his support to Vice President Mohammad Mokbar, who will serve as interim president until the elections.